My name is Dermot Cavanaugh. I am an artist, tutor, and demonstrator. I have presented 74 How to Paint programs for the BBC called The Wash with Colour. I'm quite chuffed with that. <laughs> You've got confidence already, John. Uh, <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> Give it a little bit of oomph there. Exactly. Uh -huh. Have you the colour there for oomph? <laughs> Get hours of expert video tuition and follow every brush stroke. You can interact with a library of video tutorials which have been filmed in great detail. You will learn basic techniques as well as many fascinating tips and tricks of the trade. Learn how to sketch, paint skies, mix colours, paint trees and foliage, give texture to rocks and brickwork, contrast light against dark, take the pain out of painting windows, paint figures and lots lots more. It is for painters of all ages and levels of ability. It is the most unique and innovative way to learn to paint today. Everyone will know what they're getting for Christmas from now on, you know, no. my crazed imagination. If you have the interest and the desire to paint, I have the ability and the experience to teach you. Welcome to A Wash With Colour from Inch Strand on the Dingle Peninsula in County Kerry. This beach is four miles long and one of the most famous in Ireland. As a film location, it has been immortalised in movies like Far and Away and Ryan's Daughter. Later in the programme, I'll be heading down a country road with one of the all-time greats of country music, George Hamilton IV, as we compose a theme in watercolours. See, once you have a colour, if it looks too dark, by adding water, you can take the colour down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Let me give you another brush. Is that all right to go do yeah. that? Am I being too... No, you're fine. You're getting confident. Too uh, bold with this. But we're just about to move on now and do this little grass bank on the far side of that shed. This is the number five brush with a mixture of Windsor yellow, a tiny bit of Windsor blue, and a little bit of light red. Come down around that pencil line there as well. Right in here? Yeah. Because that bush there is going to be in shadow where this one here is in sunlight. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a difference in the colour. I'm just going to put a wash on over that entire house. Oh. So it's scary when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to damage it yeah. somehow. But I want you to take that brush and just more or less block in that area. Go around the windows and I'll use the number 8 then. All around them? Yeah. I'm just going to use the number 8. And how about this here? Is that, that's not going to run, is no, it? No, I'll take some of that. Okay. And you can see that these bushes here are catching sunlight on the left hand side. So I want to put some shadow here and along the walls. Get that area covered in as quickly as you can. Is that okay out yeah, there? Yeah, fill away. You see, you're it's sort of a little dingle peninsula out there. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy with it? I'm very surprised. <laughs> very pleased and uh, surprised and grateful to you because I feel like I've, I've had an education today and a lot of encouragement. George, all you have left to do now is sign it. Okie doke. So down here on the right hand side. Alrighty. The fourth. Uh, yes sir. Father of the fifth. George, it has been a pleasure. Well, as we say in Tennessee, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> My guest today is an accomplished writer, actress, comedian, and the woman behind Mrs. Doyle. Craig Island's parochial housekeeper from hell, Polly McGlynn. But what about painting? Have you ever tried that? I am terrified by the very notion of putting a paintbrush on a piece of paper or canvas. And my mother and my sister-in-law uh, paint, and they're both very good, I think, anyway. Um, and as a result, I suppose, I just thought, no, I've no, I've no talent for that, so I've never really gone near it. I've taken Pauline to one of her favourite locations in the west of Ireland, Loch Nafui. Pauline, isn't that one of the most beautiful and most peaceful scenes you'd ever look at? It's fabulous. It's too vast, though. <laughs> How can it be done? I'm terrified now by that. Not at all, oh. Pauline. It's going to be. It's going to be easy. <laughs> it is when you say it like that. But it is so beautiful. Where do you start? You see, is what I can't understand. Like, all right, this is here now, but like, 
Where? Well, is there a rule? You know, well, you... there are rules, you know, and there are a few simple rules. Right. But at the end of the day, we can do whatever we like within the guidelines. We're crazy. And We're like jazz. <laughs> yeah. right. But you can see there is perspective in the sky as well, because the clouds that are closer to us are the largest clouds. Right. As they get further and further away, they look smaller. So we have to try and show that. It sounds well. a bit like Father Ted. These are near, those are far away. You know, not big and small, isn't it? It's kind of perspective. I, I can never get a handle on that. I feel very powerful now. <laughs> so we can move on now and put in the beach while we're waiting on that there to dry. Oh, oh I like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's lovely. vibrant now. We want. That's lovely. So off oh, you go yeah. with that. All right. So how are you finding it so far? I, it's very exciting, you know, but I would be terrified to be alone doing it. I, I think I'd need the help of an adult. <laughs> and that's you. I stay with <laughs> for you, today. Pauline, don't that's you worry it. I know <laughs> oh, it's it's really exciting. You know, I can see why people are addicted. You know, you're going to make your mum and your sister so jealous of this. Well, you know? I'd be giving advice to them. I'd say, I think you need a little bit of red and that now to warm it up. I'd be saying. <laughs> Should we put a few different colours in there? Yeah, because it's lively, isn't it? it you is know, indeed. there's been. There's burnt sienna just mixed through the remainder of that wash. Oh, all right. So I'll put a wee bit of neutral tint in there as well, just to darken it slightly. Because oh. along the water's edge... Yeah. Oh. See, there's a oh. darker oh, there's there, vein running it? through that. Do you want any purple in there? Do you think, should we put a tiny... I love... Maybe do anything. Maybe one little stroke right, of it. Okay. What do you think, yeah? Wait, what do you think? What about that? Ah, oh, yeah, do you see? No, you it? couldn't go wrong, could you? You know? Oh, I like that. It looks like a shadow, you know, a little yeah. bit of shadow. Footprints. Yeah. Oh. Footprints in the sand. Leave only your footprints behind, isn't that what they say? That's right. Oh, look, that's fantastic. Again, I think we should leave it at that now, <laughs> before, like, before disaster strikes. I shouldn't have had the sherry for breakfast, <laughs> should I? We have a bit of an audience back there. I do. <laughs> My fans are here. <laughs> They follow me everywhere. Well, they're barking mad. <laughs> yeah. He has created a lot of new phrases in Father Ted. <laughs> oh, the catchphrase, of course, following me round all the time. I'm getting kind of addicted to this now. That's good. Yeah. I'd be a calmer person if I had a lovely pursuit like this, wouldn't so I? I'll get you a set of paintbrushes and a, a paint yes, box. And I'll be off. You'll be oh. off into the wilds of Ireland. Everyone will know what they're getting for Christmas <laughs> from now on, you know. No. My crazed imaginings. You know, like, it's literally a stain against the sky, isn't it? Are you going to keep all those brushes? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sharing. That's terrible, isn't it? Have you the so, colour there for oomph? <laughs> right, the colour of oomph, oomph yes. is uh, raw sienna, light red and neutral tint. Ah, the neutral tint. Oh. It's oomph with attitude, really, isn't it? You know, Restrained Indeed. oomph. Try and miss bits of the paper as well, you know, just by taking the pressure off the brush. Yeah, do you know what we haven't done? The rope, the rope. actually, yep. Mm -hmm. We'll do that quickly. It's a beautiful green rope. and uh, It is very jolly iron, Blue isn't green. It? So, uh -huh. Pauline Madlin. The time has come. The time has come. There we, is the pen. We name the guilty. Excellent. That. Oh, I'm, I'd be very big headed for a few days now, I think, you know, I can paint now. <laughs> Thanks, I'm unleashed on the world now. <laughs> it's sure it's fun. It is great, <laughs> splashing it about. <laughs> and this water you're using, I saw you get it from the lakes. Men of the country. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose That's you would right. see some beautiful locations whenever you're doing country file. Yeah, I mean, I'm very lucky that I work on a program that takes me to beautiful countryside every week, but you know, I've never ever thought about painting it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've stood there on many occasions just glorying in the view because in my job, quite a lot of the time, you just have to hang about, you know, while yeah. the, the cameraman's doing his work. Yeah. Right, I'm mixing up Windsor yellow, tiny bit of Windsor blue, and we're going to start and feed a lot of green into that. Like I'm being very, very bold there. Right. So we do the foreground now then, don't we? Yeah. And we have to be careful here whenever we're putting in the foreground that we cut around the rocks because those rocks have definite shapes and if we lose the shape of the rock, we lose the right. impact. So we can't just it. do some washes across here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now you see whenever you look down there, there's a lot of different colours of green in the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Just very quickly with it, this second colour 
of uh, Windsor yellow with more Windsor blue this time and a tiny bit of light red. I'm just going to brush across like that. And I keep pulling them horizontal until you get to the rock itself. Wow. I never ever had any aspirations towards art, you know. Never. I mean, I, I didn't even think about it at school, really. <laughs> I couldn't even draw matchstick men well, you know what I mean? I'm that sort of artist. I just was inspired yeah. by yeah. what I saw. Yeah. That's a rock. Oh, that's, that's a rock, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just guide you with that. So it's, uh, it's all around here that it's. Yeah, done. just filling in that block there. But it, at the so same time. That's where the waterfall goes down there, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. If you turn the brush the other way and put it across the bottom in a horizontal stroke, there's a definite darkness yeah. along the bottom. Along, along the bottom. Put that along yeah, there yeah, as well. Yeah. Perfect. It pays sometimes to have a glass or two of whiskey before you start. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll That's take strong. it up. Then. Just a, a bit of a shake in the hand there is hard to beat. What about these little bits of white that we haven't uh, filled in yet on yeah. the paper? Well, you know, those were left by accident, but whenever you look at a scene like that, you expect to see sheep. In fact, look. Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Almost exactly where we've left the dirt. <laughs> yeah. You see, the rocks are actually lighter than the water, so we're going to have to be very careful that we retain that white. But you know, that looks lovely the way it is, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Doesn't it? It's just such a quiet place, isn't it? I can't get over how quiet it is because, you know, I'm, I'm around the countryside all the time, and it's a, an, an illusion to think that the countryside is a quiet place. It's a very noisy place, yeah. often, and often quite an industrial place, but here. It's so silent, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a lot of light change going on at the moment, and we've got sunshine, and then, then it's shady, and, and the rocks keep changing colour. They do, indeed. <laughs> As the sunlight hits the face of the rock, it turns very, very light, yeah. and the shadowed side gets pretty dark. So again, I'm going to cut down around there. It's nice to keep that dark side along the top yeah. of the next rock, because yeah. then it's going to give you a lot of contrast between one and the other. You can blend that slightly and just touch the edges. Just to soften it. Yeah, you see the way it's getting rid of that yeah. hairiness that's yeah. on it? Yeah, Amazing. I, I'd never appreciated just how, how important it is to, to, to do the layering. In order to get that to happen, the bottom wash must be wet when the second wash goes on. Goes on. So but the second wash must be slightly thicker in texture. Less water in the second wash, otherwise it actually cleans the first wash away. You've got to keep standing back a bit from these, haven't you? Because because it is a sort of impressionistic yeah. painting. <laughs> you've got to you really see the effect of it when you stand back. You don't do. you? It all comes together whenever you stand back. Yeah. You know, yeah. the ideal distance to view any watercolor painting is about nine feet. Sometimes right. there's paintings that I do, John, and the best place to view them from is about nine miles. <laughs> <laughs> With the door closed. <laughs> My guest today is a man who knows this coastline well, and indeed every square inch of water in and around Ireland. Writer, broadcaster, and voyager. Dick Warner. Well, I can't think of a better place to meet Dick than a bar in Rhinestone. Yeah, and this is the nearest bar to the harbour. And last time I was here, I arrived by boat. So, obviously, it's the first place I came to. <laughs> well, I know you're no stranger to this area, Dick. You've worked quite a lot around here. So tell me a bit about the projects that you've worked on. Well, the project that brought me here by boat was a television series going in a sailing boat all the way round the coast of Ireland, total circumnavigation in 18 programmes called Voyage. This exercise is a nautical nightmare, but a scenic dream. We're heading straight for the 12 bends. It's like sailing through a Paul Henry painting. This Traw Moor, or Great Beach at Gertine Bay, is a magnificent stretch of white sand, and one of the many along the west coast. You can really appreciate the sense of space and isolation, which is one of the real attractions of Connemara. I'll load the other brush for you. Thank you. The choreography is very good. Yes, we're working like a team here. Does the speed at which the paint dries vary according to how much water you put with it. It does indeed. It also varies depending on what type of day it is. Keep that more to the left hand side. That's it. If you have a damp air, the paint is going to dry a lot slower. If you have a nice warm sunny day and a dry air, it's going to dry a lot quicker. I think we're very nearly finished here, aren't we? Yeah, well, you see, it is possible, Dick, to overcook it. You know, and I think it's just, it pleases me the way it is. If it pleases you, I'm happy enough. I like that. Yeah, I think we should say done. Fair enough. Well, that's Roundstone Pier. And one man who knows all about the seafaring life is ex-Navy chaplain turned artist Kenneth King. I've had a look at the paintings in your gallery and the feeling of the sea is just oozing out of them. Now, I suppose it must help to be at sea for a long time to get that feeling. 
it really gets under the skin. It's my sole motivation as an artist. Just, I'm, I'm driven to paint. If I'm, if I'm away on holidays, if I'm out of the studio or whatever for more than a few days, I get itchy feet. I want to get back. And the light is always changing. Has it some, I often wonder, has it something to do with the Atlantic? Tremendous drama. Tremendous sea sculpture. But the area around here must be perfect for you. Yeah, you, yeah I, a place I mentioned now, Glen Lock, which is uh, northeast here, it's the second Glen up from here. And um, in the 1920s, that American artist, Rockwell Kent, stayed there. And he painted the coast uh, northeast of here. Uh, and there's no access by road to that place. So, you know, you really need to uh, be driven to do it. <laughs> well, what about a studio on a boat? A studio on a boat? <laughs> you want to watch the turps? <laughs> You can see why Kenneth came as a tourist and stayed to paint. The area has played host to lots of artists and still has its fair share of tourists in the summer. John, this is it, the Danaher House. What do you think? Very, very impressive property. Lovely, lovely house. Really old traditional farmhouse and was used in the Quiet Man movie. Mm -hmm. And the only change is this porch in the front. You see, in a way, John, this is a bit like a still life. You know, because we're not going to paint the whole house. We're just painting the corner here. Yeah. Well, if I get an impression, I'll be very happy. So I want you to do that on the underside see, of that I, area. I got the impression we had to, we had to paint every flipping leaf no. individually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here all month. Exactly, exactly. So, again, to close the yeah. paper again. Keep it up partially over the first wash so that it bleeds yeah. through that. I, my tree is growing before my very eyes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I have to say, I'm really pleased with this. Well, I'm delighted that you are. And thank you very much indeed. Well, uh, I just hope that you've taken away some of the tips and tricks of the trade. I have. <laughs> I've learned a great deal. I mean, I really have learned a great deal. And, and, and actually, it's been, a, it's been a real confidence booster. I mean, I might, I might even take it up, you know, as a semi-serious hobby now. I feel uh, very privileged, I have to say. It's been a pleasure. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic. Gosh, it's just so dramatic again. I mean, you've got to be so brave and there confident. Oh, look at that. You see what's happening, Lou? No. <laughs> you make it so easy. <laughs> now, watch this here. I want you to put a cloud there, look. Yeah. Just let the paint come out of the brush. The paper, now that it's damp, will pull the paint from the brush. Yeah. And you see the way it bleeds through. I think that has dried out really well, Toya. Do you not agree? I think it's fantastic. The crimson, which I was terrified of, is so <laughs> subtle now. And the sienna, it's virtually disappeared. Well, that's the secret. You see, you have to put the colours on strong at the beginning, because if you don't do that, they will disappear. So now we're going to move on to this mountain. So I'm chuffed with this picture. It's looking fantastic already. We'll pull that across. You actually dilute the whole mixture rather than dilute the brush. Yes. I think if I was doing this without your expert advice next to me, I'd have put all the blue up there and then tried to water it down yes. on the paper. See if you just do that there, look. It sort of thins it out a bit. Okay. Yes. That's lovely. So you're very gentle with the brush, aren't you? If you press the brush too hard, the wash stays in the brush. Yes. It doesn't flow out of it. I'm used to my DIY yeah. at home, you see. I'm used to painting walls. <laughs> I can't get over, as it's dried, the mountain looks so far away. The perspective has come to life. And when you told me to dry, uh, draw the straight line for the water, I thought, oh, it's going to make it so flat. Yeah. But it hasn't. It's really worked. But you've done a great job. I've really enjoyed it. It's been fantastic. I think it's near time you signed it. This is where I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the pen, just over here in the right-hand corner. Lovely toy, well done. Painting's finished, then we peel off the masking fluid and that retains the white paper. Keep it right up to the green, but not over the green. And keep it horizontal. Now, I'll give you more water. Just blending the two together and pull again from one side to the other. Watch that bubble doesn't run. Go quickly, <laughs> that's what I mean. Now, come right. Like that, you mean? <laughs> exactly like that. Panic! I won't be coming back, will I? That's it. Now, where you have a tall tree, you have a tall reflection. So this one's got to come, yeah. come down more. That's right. But fill out the bottom right along the far bank before that starts to dry too much. That's it. Let's get a, a nice straight line and then pull it down. You're going to have a lot of darkness in that corner. Now, the secret is speed. Right. Now, pulling that one and feeding that into the green, but yet not, not completely fast. covering the light green. That's it. Big dark tree, big dark shadow. That's it. 
Now, do you see the benefit of vertical strokes? Mm -hmm. You're really painting the shape in reverse, you know, so that it's high in the middle or it comes down further in the middle than it does at the sides. Fill up this area here. That's pretty dark there as well. That'll do. Now, again, I think we need more dark, dark in, in here. That. That's it. Again, just fill in, make a triangular shape for the, the shape of that tree. Get pointed. That's lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Like that. But I must say, Charlie, I'm very, very impressed. The tree looks really well. And again, that was just a matter of bleeding in different colours, using that very dark green, first of all, a mixture of Windsor yellow, Windsor blue, and light red. And then more light red in the mixture to give that lighter green mm -hmm. colour. Now, catch it and pull it. It's like picking off a face mask. Exactly. Oh, I do that regularly. <laughs> you see how easily that, that comes off, great. though? It's great. It's very satisfying as well. <laughs> I'll remember that when I'm writing my labels out for my Gladstoniana and say, large green leaves I'll put with a crimson glow. Exactly. <laughs> Next time on A Voice With Colour, I'll be in County Tipperary, where my guest will be television presenter Nick Knowles. Until then, it's goodbye from Connemara.